YouTube, what's going on? Thank you guys for checking out another video. We're still going to be dropping almost daily content all the way through the holidays. Your boy's in the Atlanta area for the next nine days. I do want to record some content, so if you're interested in being a model, if you have a barbershop and I can cut and record there, please do hit me up because I'll be here for the next nine days. DM me on Instagram. Hit me up on my email address, basio at tomb45.com. Let's go ahead and get start, started with this tutorial. We're doing a blurry ball fade with a crispy faded beard. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's go ahead and get started. What's up, YouTube? We got the holidays coming in, but we're not going to stop. We got another tutorial for you. This right here is going to be a ball fade into a side part comb over. I know it's a popular haircut, um, but we're going to contour this fade. We're going to make it work for him, and we're going to give him a sharp, crispy lineup to go with it. Um, and we're going to start off with the top taking little in one inch to half inch sections and taking our time making sure we get a nice even haircut and we're cutting the shape that we're looking for which is more of a squared beveled shape. Alright and I started off with the left side now we're going to work our right side and then connect the top to the sides. Once we've gone through that with our shear work we're gonna do the clipper work. And you notice the way that I'm cutting. It's a great way to keep your elbows down and not really strain your shoulders so much. On this side, because it is disconnected, we're going to do box graduation and keep that side part comb over disconnected on this side. And that completes the top. Let's go ahead and start to, to cut the sides. So I'm going to deep oak everything with a number four. And I'm not cutting into all the shear work I did. If you, if you can see the shape is there. If I'm coming off the head by the time I get to the parietal ridge it's not cutting anything although it looks like I'm cutting into my shear work I'm not because I'm coming off the head I'm not cutting anything that I did with my shears I'm not cutting um, with that number four I'm pretty much just connecting the sides to that scissor work at the parietal ridge if that makes any sense so we're gonna go ahead and continue and we're balding him out as you can see we're contouring the shape of his head Just so you guys know, I currently am am like in probably like 45 to an hour away from Atlanta. I'm in Log Loganville, I believe it is, close to Lawrenceville, Georgia, spending uh, the holidays here. So, you know, everything that I'm going to drop from this day forward has been in the chamber. Unless I can get into a shop out here and cut some hair and record, you know, all of this, this, this footage I'm going to be, be dropping the next, you know, nine days is pre-recorded in the chamber all right so i went ahead and balled him out and i took out that first guideline and now i'm using my number one open once i've done this we'll go ahead and start to take out that guideline so i'm closed closed now with my number one and now i have my half guard all the way open or if you're using and this is a number zero guard the blade that's on here is the master's blade I used the Filthy Blends Blends uh, bracket to put that blade on. That's why we're using the Andis Magnetic Guards. And right now I'm using that number zero to go ahead and take away that guideline. As you can see, it's still looking a little bit dark. So I went ahead, I opened, I took that guard off, opened the blade back up. I'm just using the corners to make sure, you know, we completely remove that line. But you can see the blend is coming together. So now we're using that number two open. And now that number two is closed. Now 
the last guard we're gonna use is the one and a half guard it's a new guard i believe uh s craft blends gave me you know he bought them for me gave them to me as a gift and so we're gonna use that one and a half guard open and then close to do the rest of the work and then we'll go ahead and follow up in detail if needed so this is the one and a half guard all the way open all the way close if you hear any background noise that's my nieces my nephews or my sister <laughs> I like myself in the room to do this so. all right so this is the one and a half close and again if it doesn't completely remove that line then we'll just follow it up with that one guard open just to do some detail work and take out whatever's left of that dark line area You can see I'm kind of opening and closing, I'm detailing. So look, I got my blade open and I'm, I'm really going in and detailing at this point. And you can see that I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of detailing in sections. I'm not just going, because to me like, when you detail in sections, you can really see that space and pay attention to it. When you start going, jumping back and forth um, from the back over to the side again, it, it's difficult to pay attention to the details. And then at the end of the day, that's, that's the step we're on. We're detailing. So at this point, you know, again, using that blade open and we're really, look at this angle. You can really see the right side of his head, the fade coming together. And this is the number three guard, I believe. This is the last guard because we did start off with a four. We'll go ahead and start to line them up. And again, with this trimmer, I'm not trying to, it's not the end all be all. This is just creating an outline. It's removing a lot of bulk. And I'll come in with the razor and really bring this, this line up to life. You'll see. We're gonna fade his beard in. He said, Chris, do whatever you want with the beard. I'm like, yo, with the with the contour fade, going into a faded beard is gonna look crazy. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me know what you think in the comments if this was the right call. I just feel like it catches attention, like it's it's you know what I'm saying, it stands out. But it still looks great, especially the fact that it kind of slims. It it almost slims down the face when you have a blended beard because it comes off so squared and so tight to the face. But where your face starts to round into your chin, it still keeps that squared look because we're going to a longer look towards the chin area, right? Here I'm shaping it up. I'm really making it hug his jawline and giving the illusion that his jawline is more chiseled. You know what I'm saying? So like... I think, I think I think that's a good strategy. Yeah, let me know what you think. So we're gonna go ahead and color it in. We're gonna use the color enhancement, 245 no drip, using the Beam Team XL compressor, and we're just we're just doing this to really just make it stand out a little bit more. All right, so we'll go ahead and start lining him up on the bottom below his jawline, keeping it low, keeping it full. And watch how I put this 245 shave gel on. You can see, this is a water-based product. We put the shave gel on the color and everything. I'm combing it into the hair because I want hairs that are that are gonna fall over the hairline to fall over the hairline so I can go ahead and, and take, take those little hairs off with my razor as you can see here. But notice one thing, the color is not coming off. There's so many people who have a misconception about this color, like it's gonna drip off if you sweat or if you get water on it. This color is not coming off. We have shave gel all over it. I'm combing through it and it's not coming off. Now, 
if you scrub hard enough it will come off because you're going to lose layers of skin this product is designed to stain the skin it, you don't need to um you don't need to do a patch test that's what it's for so um and i'm coming in i'm being real detailed i'm making sure that i'm going against the grain i get a nice close shave because that's what's going to make the line stand out as you can see i think it's popping so now we're going to go ahead on this side and do the same exact steps and although i feel like almost on every client either the back looks different or the or the left side looks different than the right side and it's because nobody's hair is perfect there's different hair growth patterns different head shapes different densities and so i'm gonna try my best to 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 keep the fade balanced but it's really hard because if you see on the right side and i'll show you a little bit later on the right side kind of grows over to the left a little bit where the left side of his head the side i'm working on right now it just grows straight down so the right side was definitely more difficult to blend um which is the first side i started with this side you're gonna see is gonna come to together pretty quickly and so flush and guys i just man i just got you know the first four day hands on course ever at studio 45 just happened man and i think it was a great success it was amazing i had a great time with that with the first class had them sign my wall they gave me a gift and all that so i'm um, just looking forward to, to to having more classes and um continue to help people grow man so here we are at the i believe this is the number zero guard now we're all the way closed with the zero guard the same steps we did on the right side going down to no blade and you can see once i do that look how this this left corner just comes together so i'm gonna do those steps on the rest of the fade here but yo real talk if you are in um the atlanta area and you um you want to cut or you got a barbershop and and i could record some haircuts in there let me know hit me up dm me email me boss you at tomb45.com i'd love to record some content while i'm out here this is one of the most difficult parts is is coming bringing this all together the both of the sides to the back and making it look balanced all the way through And shout out to anybody who checked out the vlog that I dropped yesterday. We bought an RV. Tomb 45 bought an RV. We're going to wrap it. It's going to be insane, man. And um, if you didn't catch our, the, the vlog, um, I just wanted to, to, to say thank you guys, man. We've been growing so much and it's because of y'all's support. Um, but we continue to invest into the company. The RV is for the shows. Um, we're gonna continue to hit shows and our poof is gonna look crazy whenever we pull out the rv so all right we have the number two close now and again once we do the number two close we'll follow up with the one and a half guard open then close and then we'll use that we'll go back down to that number one open and start the detail process So this is the one open and watch how this just comes together. And honestly, from the one open, a lot of times you could just follow through your steps and fade down to really just detail the cut. can see my ring light on the on the right side there all right so i believe now we have dropped down to that zero guard and we're just fading down we're following all the steps we use to fade up and we're using those steps to fade down and look how the cut is coming to life 
my last step my last step is gonna be that blade open without any guard and just look here it is boom look at that so let's go ahead and fade the beard in using the same steps we use on the other side Again, just using using the trimmers just to clear up some bulk and, and just do a quick outline because the razor is gonna gonna bring it to the next level. You don't need color, but we the whole point of a lineup is to get it as crispy as possible. So we're gonna use it to enhance the cut. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys on the for for like these models, my YouTube clients. Look, if you want to be a YouTube model, you can just hit me up if you're in the area and I will record. It's free to get a YouTube cut. But um, usually I'll do the color if I feel like the color is right. And I'll tell my clients, yo, I could take it off if you don't like it once I'm done. I have yet to, to take it off. Everybody wants to keep it. You know what I'm saying? So same thing. We're going to put the shave gel here, get it on the color, comb it in. You know what I'm saying don't be worried about it coming off taking the um the enhancement off and go ahead and do the razor work this is this will provide a nice comfortable shave you're not gonna get that ash effect but it's a nice comfortable glide and you're still gonna get the crispiest line yo with the color and the and the razor look how this side is, look how this cut is coming together Yo, please smash the like button if you're feeling how this cut is coming to life. Smash the like button if you're feeling the way this cut is coming to life. We're using the triple cartridge razor. And then the last step is the, is the I forgot to use the, um, usually I use this in the beginning before I start the fade, but I forgot to, so... This is the last step, this is the finishing touch, the shaver. The last step for the fade, I should say, right? Look at that angle, look at the cut, man, that thing coming out. <laughs> Hey guys, but real talk, this is the before. Guys, I want to know what your New Year's resolution is. What is it that you're trying to accomplish in this barber industry? I want to help you through this channel. Look at this fade. I showed you guys all the steps. We styled it. We put, we enhanced it just to bring this cut to the next level. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, man. Smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're dropping almost daily content between the vlogs and the tutorials. It's been amazing. I've been having a blast, man. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Love you guys. Appreciate y'all.